Hey guys, I am back with another video, guys. So in this video, as you see in the title, this is a top five. So guys, this is how it's gonna work. Um, I kind of want to start doing uh, top five videos, whether it's Clash of Clans, Call of Duty, uh, Star Wars Battlefront, all that good stuff on Fridays. So uh, my upload time is Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and Friday and Sunday as well, which I'll be making Friday a top five every single Friday. So anyway. Uh, this is my top five best specialists in Black Ops 3. So, anyway, guys, I know you guys saw that gameplay switch, but I just want to make a little disclaimer here before I get started to the top five, is that I am actually not going to add the brand new Blackjack inside of the um, top five, just because it wouldn't. it's kind of obvious, though, because if I put him in this video, he'll clearly be number two and number one. But anyway, I do not want to keep you guys waiting. Uh, you guys saw this video, so anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And let's get into it. Alright, coming at number 5 is Combat Focus. So guys, Combat Focus is basically, it doubles up everything. So you, your score basically gets doubled up. It's pretty good for score streaks. And this is kind of an example of me uh, basically using the wraps and the GI unit with, with it. It is a complete beast and uh it's actually really aw it's, a, it's a pretty fun um specialist to use and that's why Aaron's number five spot and let's get on to number four so coming in at number four is actually the rejack now rejack is part of the nomad um kind of area and basically what it does is kind of revives you right there as you see it saved my life and basically gave me a revive, and that's actually really awesome, and it basically got me back into the fight. Now, guys, if you actually do uh, get killed by uh, any uh, specialist weapons, it will not revive you again, but, I mean, that's it. anything else like getting killed by score streaks or anything else is pretty awesome, and that's why it's at my number five. So coming in number three is uh, basically the Annihilator from the Sephira air, um, kind of area. So basically the Annihilator is like his big revolver to six-shooter, and it basically can shoot down anything. It can, it can kill people. It can destroy sh score streaks in a couple of shots. It can like one shot UAV, which is why it is like super awesome and a force to be reckoned with. And it's actually one of my favorite squad specialists, but I really don't use it as much. So that's why it's at number three. Now coming at number two is basically the purifier from the firebreak area. So basically this purifier is just kind of like a little flamethrower. I'm about to show you right here. I'm just kind of shotgunning some people down. And I'm just kind of reloading. I get to the purifier. As you can see, it's just a complete flamethrower. A little touch by the flames. You, you're basically dead. It is a complete awesome weapon for, you know, kind of running into buildings and clearing out everything. It basically gets all the job done. And that's why it's at, no, at the number two spot. And basically that was it for coming in number one. Is basically the heat wave from also the fire break. So guys, the fire break is probably like the best um, kind of area for it. So basically, what the fire break is is kind of like a stun, but it's a little, it's a lot quicker. So it's a better stun. It's kind of uh, I can't really explain it, but about, it's about to be right here. So you basically press RB, and it basically just pauses everybody. It's a complete awesome score streak. It's an awesome beast. So anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys can like, comment, rate, and subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. And I'll see you guys. In the next video, thanks for watching.